All right. Uh, I guess we can kind of get started here. I'll just let everyone know one more time that we still have spots uh, if anyone else wants to drop by. Uh, otherwise, we're just going to get started. All right, so Legionnaires, uh, just a final uh, final call here. The training is going to be starting right now. This is the officer training. We're going to be discussing SKL in general. It's just a very chill conversation about our outfit. So if you guys want to drop by and just listen in, uh, the squad is in the squad finder, or you can type X in uh, outfit chat for you to get an invite. Uh, we're just going to be talking about the philosophy of SKL, uh, our place in the server, and a bunch of other stuff uh, that's not necessarily relevant meta information, but it's still something I'd like to talk to you guys about. Uh, so if you want to drop by in the start, this is your final chance. We are on the VR train if you want to join us. All right. So... Uh, First off, guys, like I, I just want to thank you guys for being here, uh, especially, you know, the people that I wanted to talk to, uh, Niku, Games, uh, Horace, Over9, uh, Hitter, uh, Kronk, just the, the guys that have been around for a while now, Mike, uh, I know that many of you guys are, you know, the ones sort of running the show right now, and uh, I'm, I'm really glad, like, I can sit with you guys, you know, for, for a, a bit of a talk here because you know it is, it is a bit of a, a sad moment for me because I've been very busy and I've been meaning to come check out the game I haven't played since the Arsenal update you know and I'm listening all these crazy stuff that we're getting a bunch of people coming back to the game and the game is getting crazy numbers again and I haven't been able to play uh, and with everything that's going on inside SKL, everything that you guys, you know, have been discussing and everything that's going on in the Discord as well, uh, I just want to take a time here and come talk to you guys a little bit about us, you know, about the group, about the community. My opinion here uh, is not, you know, set in stone anymore. Rosen has a very nice idea of what SKL is and how SKL should be run. Uh, and that's sort of how it always has uh, been. And it basically is that SKL is the people that is active at that moment, right? SKL is not something that I can tell you guys right now. SKL is this, this, and this. SKL is whatever you guys make of it at that point in time. A long time ago when Soka was around, SKL was just a place for people to drop by and play whenever they felt like running with a platoon leader. Now is much more than that, and we're a large organization. There's a bunch of levels to what we do in game and what we do outside of the game, and we've done some amazing stuff. Uh, and I, I wanted to cover some of these things. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys know a lot of this. But many of you guys may not know as well, and some of you may even know more than me. I know games may know Sokar back in the day even better than me. So uh, I wanted to start giving you by giving you guys a little bit of like uh, sort of a historical context, right, to what SKL is, where we came from, and this is like some some interesting facts, you know, that we a lot of people in SKL don't know about. SKL was founded by Sokar, who came from DAP. DAP was the old Emerald Zergfit, uh, you know, the large outfit that there was in Emerald. Sokar was a part of it. Then they broke off, they split apart. Sometime later, they died off. And Sokar kept the torch going. And uh, he, I don't think he ever meant for SKL to become what it is now. He was just this amazing guy. He was extremely fun to run with. He could not shut his mouth for the love of God. <laughs> like uh, the one thing I remember about joining his platoons was being around and thinking, bro, this guy never stops talking. Like he just kept talking and it was enjoyable to be around him when he was talking about playing the game and people just started joining his outfit and it kept growing and it kept growing and back on his time the people he judged to be you know the best fit to run the platoons and to help him with the outfit were the ones he gave permission to 
uh, there was no organizational system. It was very lackluster, and it sort of rotated around him. Uh, but because he was a nice guy, unlike you know many of the other outfits that are born as a cult of personality, the outfit ended up becoming you know a little bit different from you know a lot of the trash stuff that we have out there. Uh, SKL's focus was never on being like an outfit for people to get good. That was not what they were going for in the beginning. Sokar wanted people to have fun. That was the thing he he nailed every single time he talked about platoons was your platoons needs to be having fun. And that's the point of SKL. That, that's what he wanted it to be. Uh, because sometimes in this game, and you guys probably know this better than anybody, uh, it gets frustrating. You know, this, this happens in every single game. You know, people rage out and you have a frustrated run. But Planet Side is different where it's not 50-50 never. The only win condition we have here is a three-way. So no faction is going to be winning at all times. And it's much easier for you to get frustrated over winning in this game than it is for you to get frustrated over winning in any other game. So by focusing on fun, he kind of you know, went over all this frustration sort of stuff. And it was an amazing approach. You know, it was fantastic. And everybody enjoyed it at the time. And that is kind of why it grew to this point. Now, there is a lot of comments from outside, and this is this is another one of the the reasons why I wanted to give out this training, is because you guys probably know better than anybody else that people hate SKL, and this is something that I've dealt with, you know, for the entire time I've been in here, and it's something that I'm sure you guys deal with. You may not, you know, engage on it as much as I do. Uh, because I'm very passionate about this place. I love SKL. I defend it. Uh, I, I do whatever I can. I go over the internet and I fight people on Reddit. I fight people on other discords because I like SKL. I, have, I think we have a place in our server and I think what we do is good. I genuinely think this game would be worse off without us. That's why I go out of my way to fight people in defense of SKL whenever you know there's a discussion popping off somewhere else but the the reality is that SKL is is a, a little bit out of proportion it has always been but historically Emerald VS never had many outfits uh, you know the opinions may vary but the reality is that since day one VS, the Vanu faction, has always been the underdog in the sense that we have sort of the more, you know, niche style to us. We have a lot of gimmicks that aren't necessarily attractive, you know, and from day one, the other two factions have always attracted more people. You know, people start off on v on TR and on NC, on NC more than in any other, because, you know, Space America, the Rebel sort of theme. So people start in there a lot more. And then, like, a lot of people migrate to VS. Uh, and for some reason, Emerald VS specifically has always had a historic lack of outfits. We had some, but in, in scale, SKL was the one of a kind. You know, if you go back, uh, you know, a couple of years ago, we had DAP that was, you know, similar size. Then we had SKL, and all of the other outfits that any of you guys can mention has never came, like, above the 1,000 member mark, or not even close to that mark. So Emerald VS is a bit unique and has always been a bit of a unique uh, faction in the fact that it always had only one Zerg fit, in quotes. You know, Emerald VS was always sort of a unified blob under the same outfit, all the way back into, you know, DAP and that sort of stuff. When you look into the other factions in our server, NC has, you know, a pretty square balance where we have VCO, NS, N, NCCR, 
uh, and we have a few others that are pretty big, they sort of share the load. And on the TR side, each, like, this, this is a quote from Captain Cox from 1TR. He always says that TR outfits are by definition unstable or, you know, something like that. Because TR outfits have a growth period. They stay big for some time and then they die out. That has always been the case. They are always switching places for whichever one is the largest one uh, or whichever one is the most active one. They've always had AODR, AOD. They have always been there. But then True Ref came along. They had a lot of active people. Now Pigs is around. They have a lot of active people. So TR had a lot of people going around. VS only had us. And this is pretty unique. Uh, I want you guys to also think about our server as well. Emerald is the main server. doesn't matter what the other people tell you. Emerald is the canon server. What happens in our server is sort of what matters. You know, we, we have official media that covers the Emerald server. Uh, whenever there's a promotional uh, official from the game, it comes and covers our server. Uh, and in numbers, our server is also the largest one by a far margin. Uh, the European ones are also quite big, but this is somewhat the main server. This is not in any way, shape, or form uh, me shitting on the other servers. That's not it at all. It's just saying that, you know, we as a server are already in a position of, you know, we, we are a little bit larger than everybody else. Now, when you get down to the scale of our outfit, that's when things really get out of place. And, you know, by living it daily, we really don't understand what we are. SKL is the largest outfit in the game by a margin that's almost double that of the second place. There isn't anybody even close to what SKL is, and it's, it's really scary to a point. You know, when people say that SKL is out of proportion, absolutely, they're kind of telling the truth. You know, you, you can't tell how many active people we have at any one point because our page doesn't open on, on the stats pages. And the last active number I heard was that SKL sits at around 2,000 to 3,000 players actively every 30 days. So for the past 30 days, 2,000 people have played in SKL. And that's like, that's crazy. That's almost like the population of the Connery server by itself. Like that's a population of one of the PS4 servers just playing inside our own group. And when you put that into perspective inside of VS, it also gets quite scary because at times, on a single continent, SKL may hold upwards of like 35% of the VS population. It usually sits more around 20 to 30%, but if we moved our platoons into a continent, it gets almost at the 40% mark. That's all of these people playing under our guidance in here. They're all in the same group, they're all in the same community, and they're all following you guys. And that's like that's pretty crazy when you put it into proportion. Everything in Planet Side has always been a bit insane with the numbers. But you know, it, it's nice for us from time to time to just, you know, take a minute to take all that in and, you know, appreciate the position our group is in uh, for a little bit. Now, those are facts. Like, that's, that's what it is. SKL is completely out of proportion. We have thousands of members. This is the largest community in the game. And then it comes to what do we do with that, right? Who are we? You know, our, what are we going to do about all of that, right? It comes our attitude when we approach those facts. For a long time, the attitude was simply... We're not going to do much. We're going to jump in game. We're going to play whenever we're feeling like it. And uh, that's it. Like That was what it was for a long time whenever Sokar was around. And it was good. It didn't mean it was a bad thing. But a lot of us felt like we could do more. When Sokar was still around, there was already this push for us to be more. We want to do more. 
we want to be a better community because there wasn't a lot going on you know people would get promoted they would jump in game platoon lead whenever they felt like it that was it then we started this idea that came with Kazdar you guys have had the chance to meet him he's probably the most reasonable guy I know uh, he started with this idea that SKL could be more we could do more with these numbers we could become a better group and we could do more for the game and uh, the idea was always SKL is meant to be out there as a place for everyone we want to be a home for people to do whatever they want to play however they want but a place where everyone can feel safe uh, and just have their fun you know we one of the things that we always try to be in SKL is to maintain the environment and that's very important for us not only because of the public's eye looking at us as the largest outfit in the game but also for, for our own internal you know well-being keeping the house clean you know making sure we have no toxic behavior in house making sure people are not being jerks to one another inside the outfit that's how you keep everything clean and running and how we keep everybody happy uh, independent of you know their background their play styles uh, however they want to approach the game as casual or as try hard as they want to be uh, that's the bare minimum we started with that we started you know pointing people out and calling them out for doing stuff they shouldn't uh, and I believe that we got to a pretty good point but this is an ongoing development this is never something that we can stop doing and it's never something that's going to stop happening everyone's going to come across a jerk at times everyone's going to say something out of place at times uh, and for us especially you guys that are out there you know as officers or people that are thinking about being officers you know don't just sit and watch you know th this is the most important one for me is if you are sitting in an SKL platoon or in anything that is SKL, just care for the place you're at. If you're seeing something wrong, doesn't matter if you're a legionnaire, you know, stand up to it. You don't need to confront the person that's saying it at the time. We don't want people, you know, picking up fights over something somebody said. But we need action on these things because whoever is out there doing all these moderating all this admin stuff that we do all the times games rules Horace the other guys in there over nine and Mike now as well and everyone as well we can't have eyes out all the time and these things are pretty simple to deal with and we can't let them run like if if something happens in an SKL platoon speak like let us know write a report or you know do something about it because that's how we keep everything running smoothly and how you know we do what we set out to be you know a place where people can feel safe and where they can play you know, without worrying about someone in their platoon being a dick and police yourselves as well because this happens to us without us realizing I sometimes you know after I finish my session I Oh, went out to eat something or took a break from the game and I was like damn bro I shouldn't have said that or maybe I should have you know said this in a different way and uh, I caught myself getting frustrated at something and I lashed out to my platoon or to someone in SKL in a way that I shouldn't have and you know it's always nice for us to police ourselves like that because it all mirrors SKL itself right that's what's happening all the time so that's just another heads up, you know, is, is just something to always keep in mind. I'm pretty sure you guys already, you know, have this in mind. It doesn't hurt to remind everybody from time to time. Uh, you're getting frustrated or even when you're joking about something, always remember to try to police your words a little bit better. You know, I don't care about what you say when you are, you know, just playing with your friends. But whenever you are in an SKL environment, this is a very public place. Planet Side is the most social game I've ever played, and I think is one of the most social games out there. You are talking to a room full of people, you know, it's 50 people almost, that you're talking to them at all times, and, uh, you know, someone may get hurt, or someone may get offended, or you may make their sessions worse with your words, 
And that's something we want to try to avoid in here. So that's sort of number one, right? Uh, now, the other thing I want to talk about is uh, it, it's weird for us to talk about this because this is just a game, right? And I don't want you guys to get me wrong here. Sometimes we go way too hard in this game. I, I know this better than, you know, better than most. Sometimes we lose our minds and we dive too deep into planet side and we kind of get lost in it. And that's when you really know you're going try hard, is when you kind of forget that this is a game, we're all here to have fun. Uh, but just because it is a game, it doesn't mean that we shouldn't have some sort of responsibility in what we're doing here. I already told you guys that this is the largest community in the game. There's nobody they, that even comes close to SKL. And that puts a bit of a pressure on us on how we are, you know, what are we doing in game? We, we have some responsibilities. And those responsibilities are obviously not something that is naturally implied on us. This is something that Kazdar, me, uh, Uber, Prozan, Kasami way back when, Horace now, we decide to have this responsibility. This is not something we should have. This is something we decided to have. And is just related to how we do things in game. And I'll, I'll give you guys a quick example to kind of give you guys an idea, right, of the sort of stuff that I'm talking about here. One of the big problems we have with outfits on VS right now is resources. There was even recently a discussion about this, probably you guys caught it on the Reddit, and I was yelling at people in there, right? Uh, other groups can't get resources in game or it's very hard for them to get resources in game because SKL is a, an absolute giant and competing against us on resources is a pain. Like it's very hard for people to go out there and fill up their armories because SKL is rolling around with 35% of the population, right? So every base that flips is generally going to be SKL. And it's hard for someone to you know, pick up the greens and pick up the blues and the purples. We don't care about it as much, and that's why it's possible, because you know people, if they put in the effort, if they have some good players, they can get the kills and get the first place. And that's because we don't care about it as much. But it is still a big responsibility, because I don't know for certain, but I'd say that over 50% of the resources in the server goes to us. And that's putting it low. I think it's much more than 50%. It almost means the entirety of the armory assets on the VS side is going into the SKL armory. And that's a big responsibility. You know, we, we pretty much hold our entire faction's armory in our hands. And uh, this is just speculation. I don't know about it. But I think this is something the devs are going to try to address in one of the updates later this year when they talked about, you know, sharing resources and shared armories or faction armories. It is literally a problem created by us. It is unintentional, but it is still there. And this is something that all of you guys can help in, you know, taking on that responsibility. I know Games Rules is one of the guys that does that a lot. When you look at it, our armory, right now we are wasting green resources. It's literally being thrown away because we're generating eight. We are sitting at 500 already. And our entire module page is full. If we have a continent open right now, and I believe we have two of them, it is kind of our responsibility, and that's sort of what I would expect from us as, you know, this giant monopoly of resources, that we sort of cover every relevant base on that map with the relevant discounts. You know, make effective use of that sort of stuff because other people don't have it. You know, nobody else out there right now can cover the entire map with those modules and, you know, spread 
the resources of our factions like that. So, you know, that, that's just one example of the resources sort of stuff. You know, you, you can extrapolate that to everything else that we do in game. You know, whenever we're playing alerts, this is the other big part, we, the SKL leaders, hold a very large percentage of the population under our leadership. You know, nobody is to blame more for an alert loss than SKL. Now, that doesn't mean we need to start going crazy and, you know, hunting for an 100% win rate. But that still means that winning an alert has some sort of weight on us. It should have some sort of weight. That's something we decided a long time ago that we would take it upon ourselves to be better, to do well in the end game that Planetside has, which are the alert metas. So whenever we have our platoons out there, it's nice to keep that in mind as well. You know, SKL now is a disciplined force. It's not perfect by any means, but we all share this sort of, of understanding that we should fight to our best. You know, we have very few people left in SKL nowadays that just say, ah, fuck the alert, I don't care about this, and just throw it all. Because if we say that, if the SKL platoons or if the SKL leaders say that, that's like a very big portion of our population just giving up because we decided to give up. And then the other people that are out there trying their best. And then the other people that are out there trying to win are going to be left without a major portion of the active population. Right? So that's another big one on our side. Is that sort of stuff, you know? Uh, that, that responsibility talk sort of circles back into what the first point was as well. Uh, I, it's, I don't want to repeat myself here, but it, it, is, it is expected from us. We, we kind of wish that you guys understand that an SKL member, an SKL leader, should have a good behavior out there. This is not something we police, you know, to the teeth. We, we're not going to try to take away your independency or however you want to play the game. But whenever you're going out there and you are playing with the SKL tag or you are playing with the SKL platoon, we want you guys to be good. Just be good. You know, don't be a jerk to others. You know, try to be polite whenever addressing other people. Because it just takes one guy to be a jerk in SKL for everybody else to go like, oh yeah, SKL are jerks. You see what I mean? We don't need to be, you know, an outfit of jerks collectively. We just need to have one bad apple to go out there and give people one bad experience for everyone to look into that one action, isolate it, and turn it into the general sense. That happens all the time. It's quite hard. It's quite hard to maintain, you know, that sort of of ideal going around, but it's still something we can keep in mind, you know, and that's why I talked in the first point about you guys, you know, speaking up to, you know, whoever is in SKL and going out there and being a jerk, because it's, it's important for us to maintain our group as a respectful group, right? Now, there has been a, an ever so slightly trend that everyone in the server realizes. Uh, I've talked to the guys on B-Way about it. I've talked to the guys on VKTZ about it. I've talked to the guys in other factions about it. And uh, the general sense is that because of what we did in SKL, because of what you guys are doing in SKL, the overall quality of the outfit has increased tremendously. SKL used to be just sort of a blind animal going around and you know, with no sense whatsoever of what was going on. And now it is a much more disciplined force, and it's entirely because of you guys. Whenever SKO has proactive people out there, the face of the outfit changes. That's directly tied to our uh, 
to our just the way we are playing in the alert meta to our results in the alert meta to what our platoons are achieving in the alerts so whenever an SQL platoon is out there and they pull off a max crash in the last second you know that speaks miles to SQL it speaks much more than anything we could do you know outside of the game so the interest in quality is in there as well not only for the sake you know of the fame of the outfit or you know it's the idea of what SQL is but a general sense of game quality itself you know people are gonna be playing in SQL and having more fun if they're playing in a better quality platoon if they're able to achieve bigger stuff uh, whenever they jump by and a lot of you guys are amazing at this over nines hitter meters mics platoons these are like some of the highest quality platoons we've had you know in in SQL's history you know SQL has always been a very casual outfit we we did went hard some of our leaders were fantastic rage twisted platoon they rack house whenever they're running around but improving the quality of the overall leadership is something that we should strive for always 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 it shouldn't get in the way of you know us being a healthy environment of us being uh, just overall an enjoyable environment for everyone but it should still be in our minds at all times improve the quality of your legionnaires improve the quality of your leaders that has been the philosophy in SKL since you know I've been around and before I've been around it's something we should try to do all the time you guys as officers or even as legionnaires can do that all the time not only when you guys are doing trainings trainings are great I love doing trainings I love doing this I think this is amazing It's something that we should do more uh, just sitting around with people and teaching them stuff and talking to them is great for the game is great for the community is great, is great for the players but whenever you guys are just playing the game normally you can still improve the overall quality of the platoons you know you're sitting in a platoon you are platoon leading or your squad leading teach your squads you know tell them how to do stuff over explain your platoons this is something that Sokar did more than anybody else Sokar was a great platoon leader because he could explain his orders with two words he could just say get inside but instead of saying get inside he said about you know a hundred words to tell you guys how to get inside and that's why his platoons were so great because you could follow him around you could follow what he was saying and you would learn while you do it you know you not only became a more effective force but people that were joining in for the first time could learn the game like literally learn the game uh, this is also you know kind of our the next thing I'm gonna talk about but the realization of player retention in planet side 2 is something that has been in my mind and has been in the minds of a bunch of people in SKL for the longest time is something that I've discussed closely with the developers I've discussed closely with other outfit leaders and it's one of the things that like it's one of the things that we really really need to pay attention to planet side 2 has a thousand new players every week people that created accounts came to check the game played the game for two hours and never played it again this is a, a stat that comes from the devs themselves people are downloading this game and they're playing this game constantly but then they log in they stay around for two hours and then they leave why is that why does that happen you all know the learning curve in planet side is is a monster this game is harder to learn than I don't even know I, I don't know a game that's harder than this for you to really master and become good at uh, 
And whenever they jump in the game, now at least they're met with an average tutorial that is not that great. They are advised to join a mentor platoon and uh, usually they run into two options. They either join a platoon that's tagged as a mentor and that squad is a ghost squad. Nobody's saying anything, nobody's doing anything, the platoon leader is not even there. And some people have played, like, they played the game 100% of the times in a platoon and they uninstalled the game without learning that there is voice in game because they've never heard anybody say anything. I've had people come to me and say that. Oh, I didn't even know this game had voice and they had played the game for like 12 hours and they didn't hear a single sound. The other option is they join in a platoon and now imagine for a second that you just downloaded the game. You have no idea what's going on. You barely know anything about the game. And then you get dropped into a platoon that's playing the final 10 minutes of an alert. Everybody's just yelling orders. You're not even saying full words. You're not even using the names of the vehicles. I'm not even saying that there's a banshee, that there is a mosquito with air to ground coming. I'm saying, watch out, there's a banshee outside. Not even saying there's a sunder, there's an enemy sunder in the garage. I'm saying take out the Sunday. You know, these people are completely lost. They have no way of knowing what's going around. And they get lost in the platoons and they never come back because they think like, fuck this, I'm not learning all of this. It's too hard. You know, so when you are doing this, when you're over explaining everything, you turn your sweaty platoons no matter how you're playing you can be playing chill or you can be playing try hard if you are over explaining stuff you are going through the steps of what you want your platoon to do they will learn doesn't matter if they're a veteran player they may know how to do it even better than you they're going to do it themselves you don't need to worry about them but if there is anyone in your platoon that is a casual someone that's coming back to the game or someone that's new to the game by doing that you are giving them the info they need to work with. And this game, you guys know this as well, it has about a thousand features that you only learn about after hundreds of hours in this game. Like it's been, what, two years since I've learned about Outer Run, and I've played this game since the beta, and I didn't know it was here. You know, like th there's a million stuff that you don't know about. And by sharing information in the public environment of the platoon, you give people the chance to learn all that stuff. So that's what it should be. You know, that's what SKL should be about. When I talk about noob-friendly platoons, or when I talk about mental platoons, I don't necessarily mean you guys need to go out of your way to just have a platoon focused on new players. You can run your platoon normally. But by, you know, caring more and giving more information on your orders, you make it more noob-friendly. You improve the game. It's good for everyone. And that's one of the responsibilities that SKL decided to pick up as well. Something that we brought upon ourselves. We want to be a good influence in the new player experience. And I talk about that all the time because I genuinely think that is the best impact SKL can have in the game, is being a new player friendly group. It's, it's you know, there's nobody out there doing this. I, and I mean it, you know, other outfits are friendly towards new players. And if there's a new player coming in, they will help them. But there's no one actively doing it. There is no one. You know, if you, if you look around, you know, the other factions, you may find someone here and there trying to help. But the scale of what SKL can do to actively help new players and maintain player retention on Emerald VS is insane. Like, we can do it better than anybody. And, you know, I will always try to push this button on you guys. You don't need to pick it up if you don't want. But... Planetside is a game that is not necessarily in its best spot. You guys know this as well as I am, uh, as I do. You know, we, we have a small player base, a very loyal player base, and we have low retention. 
the mm -hmm. game has a very low margin for profits. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it's not under a very good company right now. So anything we can do to help improve the situation our game is in is great. I'm, I have always vouched for that, and I genuinely think we can do something in game. And that thing is platoon leading with a more, you know, new player friendly approach. That's also something for you guys to keep in mind. Now, uh, the other thing I want to talk about is, you know, what we have achieved. I, I think that, like, we also don't talk about this a lot especially because, you know, it's just a few people here and there doing these things and SKL in general doesn't get, you know, the full spectrum. Not everyone gets the full spectrum. But our outfit for the past, like, three years, almost at this point, maybe even more, we have been involved in every single major thing that helped, that happened in the game. Uh, we have participated in the largest events that the game has had. The only area that SKL doesn't really participate very actively is the competitive scenario that happens on Jaeger. But we still have, you know, a bit of a foot in there. It's just not as much as we've done, you know, the other big scale stuff. We have done events with streamers. Uh, we have done server-wide events. SKL was one of the founders of the existing Emerald Community Discord. For those of you guys that are unaware, Emerald right now is the server with the best relationship between outfits across all servers. Uh, we have the bad apples that are the people that, you know, are outside of the community because they decided themselves to be those would be like people like FedEx, people like pigs, just people that have, you know, a bad attitude towards the, the community in large. But everybody else, including the big ones, AOD, 2Ref, NCCR, VCO, GSLD, uh, anyone you guys can think of that is a respectful outfit are in there. And SKL has helped to create that community. It's a place where we schedule events. It's a place where outfit leaders talk to one another representatives can discuss things uh, and we have a very healthy environment in the server because of that we can discuss things across communities that keep keep you know just overall a better environment for everybody to play in one of the examples is uh, some time ago we agreed that SKL is not going to blow up uh, a bastion that has just been brought planet side and is sitting in the warp gate and this is something, you know, that we mention because it, we, we can just get in the air, get like a hundred people in the air and go destroy a bastion that's a one-player bastion, you know. And it's good for us to keep in mind that that may be, you know, his first bastion or that may be someone that's trying it out for the first time or in one case that happens to us, it may even be an outfit that's taking a picture on top of the bastion and then show up with a hundred scythes and we take it out. You know, it's, it's a little bit bad. And it's an accident, right? It's almost accidental. It's not something we're doing because we're jerks. It's something we're doing, you know, because we're in the game. And then we can have these sort of conversations in there and discuss the overall healthy state of the server with other people, you know, the people we're shooting at. And we can have a healthy relationship with them. This doesn't exist in any other server. They don't have, like, uh, a general place where enemies can sit on and talk about the state of the server. And we were central in that. We participated in that actively, and we've been participating in the discussions ever since. So, you know, that's, that's one more thing that is SKL in sense, uh, and it's just a part of what we do, you know, and it's good to keep in mind. Uh, we are also in direct contact with the developers. SKL has been asked in multiple occasions and we volunteered in multiple occasions to help the developers in whatever they need because they need help. They need players to assist them with a bunch of things and we do that as much as we can. And now that I'm not around as much, 
this is something that you guys need to keep in mind as well. You know, we need to help the developers. Nobody can help the devs as we do. When there's an update coming out, they have play tests or they need, you know, constructive feedback on the content that they're dropping. Not just people going around and, and you know, saying, you know, this is trash, fix this or that. Just really constructive feedback about what they're doing. Because, and this is also genuine, and you know, it's not free information, but whenever the developers try to get in touch with the players, the usual result is that more than half of what they get are rage tells, and people just raging about something that doesn't have anything to do with what they asked about. It is extremely counterproductive for them. And it's very frustrating for them when they deal with a player base that almost kind of hates them. You know, they, they, they sort of can't get constructive feedback because people get in the forums and everything they're saying is fix your trash game, that game, this is trash, well, you suck, that sort of stuff. You know, and they're trying to get their work done and that's what they get. So we, as a community, decided to help them as best as we can. We've done it a lot in the past. My favorite one, a lot of you guys here were there, was when we recorded the trailer for the Osher update. I'm gonna, I'm gonna remember that for the rest of my life. That was just insane. SKL is all over the Osher update trailer. If you guys open up the YouTube right now, go to the Planet Side 2 YouTube, and you watch the Osher trailer, like. 75% of the people in that trailer are SKL members. You know, every actor that's appearing on those scenes are SKL people. And that's just, you know, amazing. That's something crazy for me, that our community are the ones working that closely with the devs. You know, this is something, like I said, that I, I would like us not to lose. And it's kind of in your hands now, because I'm not around as much. Whenever something like that comes around, you know, there's a new update coming on. There is a new update right now on the test server. They are testing the codex right now, which is basically a bunch of information about Planet Side 2. You guys can go on the live server, you guys can check it out, and you guys can give them useful information through the media on Twitter. Tell them, hey, I found this bug, or hey, maybe you should do this like that, or this information is wrong. That sort of stuff helps. You know, it's something I do whenever I get the chance. Uh, <laughs> this is funny fact, but whenever the update came out, I tested, uh, whenever the update for the tutorial came out, the NPE update, I personally tested the tutorial for 20 hours. I cracked everything that there was in the update. I, uh, I found three ways for people to break the tutorial, and I found five spots where people could get stuck. And I, I took that to them. They fixed all of it. Uh, and, you know, that's the sort of stuff anyone in SKL can do to help. And it's nice for us to have that sort of, just that sort of attitude in the community. You know, if you guys are willing to help, spread the word around, you know, tell your platoons. Be proactive about this sort of stuff as well, because we can help. Uh, and... Uh, the final one that I wanted to say, and I'm going to wrap it up here, this is my final point, uh, is just, it, it sort of envelops everything that I talked about here today. You know, uh, some of the guys in here, uh, Games Rules, Horace is here as well, these are some of the guys that put in the most amount of hours into managing, you know, and just participated in SKL in general. They spend an, a humongous amount of time just making sure things are running right. They are proactive as hell. They are helping out everywhere they can. Uh, and that's how you keep the community up. We need people that are being proactive for the outfit to survive and for the outfit to be in a healthy state. SKL can be whatever you guys want it to be. This is like, to me, this is the most important, this is the most important part of the discussion when it comes to SKL chain of command. Uh, if you talk to anybody that is in SKL leadership right now, uh, 
you know, the, the overall idea going around at this moment. And, you know, what we want you guys to understand is that the keys of the outfit is in the hands of you guys. You know, we, we want you guys to run the show. There isn't one active guy doing everything in SKL anymore. It's not like that. And whoever is running the show at a certain point is not going to be running the show at all times. People are going to find things to do in their lives. People are going to run out of time. Other things are going to become priority, and people are going to run out of available time. So we need people stepping up. We need people buying into the idea of our community and, you know, taking the next step and saying, yeah, I'm willing to help, you know, I'm, I'm willing to be more proactive, I want to be a bigger part of SKL and I want to help out more. And, you know, that sort of, of idea is what's going to keep the outfit what it is. Because outfits come and go. You guys know as well. Uh, a lot of outfits just die out, you know, when, whenever someone leaves. This, hap this can happen with one person. If a smaller outfit loses one guy, that outfit is dead. Because that one guy was the one active pe person keeping the outfit afloat. In SKL, we worked very hard for us not to be a one-guy outfit. We should never be a one-guy outfit. We have a lot of people running the show because of our scale, because of the great people we have in here, because of the, the attitude we want our group to have. But even if we have five guys, even if we have ten guys running the show, those ten guys someday are not going to be around anymore. And if we can't find more people to step up you know, and say, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to help SKL now. The outfit is also going to die someday, or the outfit is also going to go back, you know, into being more of a casual thing, or we're not going to have as much energy as we had. And, you know, this is a sense that I've pushed since I got into leadership in SKL. We need to refresh, and we need you guys to pick it up if you want, you know, if you appreciate what we're doing here, if you have a vision for SKL, we want you guys to pick it up. That's what's happening right now. There's always a discussion going around, you know, I'm outside of the discussions that are happening at the moment, uh, but everyone is always willing to discuss, we're always willing to change, at least to some extent, you know, and that's very important for all of you to keep in mind and spread as well. We need this idea to be around everyone. The idea that SKL is a place where people can push their visions and make it whatever they want it to be. If it's good, of course. Like, we're, we're not going to let you guys drive it to the dirt. But if you guys have a good idea about SKL, if you want to see it better, if you want to make it better, you can. Just tell us. Just let us know. Get in the Discord. Get involved. And you can push SKL in whatever direction you want it to be. You can make it a better place. You know, and it's all down to you guys. It's down to proactiveness. And uh, like I said, the day we run out of proactive people and the day the proactive people don't have time anymore is the day where the outfit is going to die. And that's something I don't want to see. Nobody wants to see. You know, it's SKL is a place that I want to come back to every time I join the game. I don't want to go anywhere else. This is where I want to be. I want to come and play with you guys. And I want to be leading my platoons in here in SKL. And I'm going to be fighting to my dying day to defend SKL and what it represents. And that's sort of the, the attitude that we need people to come up with. You know, I don't need you guys to be as crazy as I am or be as passionate as I am. But if you appreciate what we have here, we need people to have that sort of vision. You know, come in and say, yeah, I'm going to help. I'm going to assist. This is what SKL is all about, and I'm going to help push it that way. You can pick up your own pet project. You can, you know, play your own play style inside of SKL. People like over 9,000 completely changed the way the outfit runs in its effective state. SKL at first was a pretty casual thing. You know, people would drop by and play, and we did our best in game. We're pretty good already, 
now it's on a completely different level. You guys have ops in just a few minutes, and SKL turns into a complete machine whenever these guys over nine, Mike, Hitter, Mitter, you know, this crew is running the show. It turns into a complete different beast. And SKL functions like a well-oiled machine because these guys took it upon themselves to take that direction. And this is what it's going to be now, and that's what it is, you know. So keep that in mind as well. Spread the word. We need to keep this up. We need to have more people proactively coming up and, you know, pushing the outfit. It doesn't matter what direction. As long as it's a good direction, it it's totally fine. And it's what we want to see. Uh, and, yeah, that's, like, basically the gist of it. Now, yeah, I, I don't want to be... Like, I don't want this to be any sort of pressure for you guys. Uh, this is, like, this is not uh, me trying to push you guys into a direction or anything of that sort of stuff. It's because I genuinely feel bad that I can't be around as much anymore. Like, I, I love this game. I love SKL. I wish I could be playing every single day and helping to improve it even more. But I can't. Like, I just can't be around as much. And this is what I have always hoped for SKL, is what I brought into SKL, is what I tried to push for in here, is all of this that I talked about. And I wished that we kept doing that. So one thing that I always talked to you know, the other guys on Elite Command was, I, I don't want to come back in a month and see the house on fire. You know, I want you guys to keep the house clean and maintain it well and keep it good. Uh, because I love this place, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys love this place as well. It can be, you know, something small, doesn't need to be something crazy like what I have, but I'm pretty sure you guys appreciate what we have here, otherwise you wouldn't be here. So, you know, taking a part on building it and maintaining it is something that helps all of us. It's something that's going to make me sleep better at night, knowing that SKL is in good hands. It's something that's going to make the, the new people coming in sleep better at night knowing that they found a good place to play uh, and it's something that is just gonna help the game in general because we are a fucking monster of an outfit that has never existed in, in, in this scale in any other server so you know take a step back we get too deep into small discussions mm -hmm. every single day you know like we and to over explode things out of proportion whenever we're discussing one small thing that happened in one platoon or one small problem that's happened in this specific area just you know take a step and look at the bigger picture whenever you can you know SKL is huge SKL is this giant community we're number one in the game you need to try to keep it up you know and roll with it at your own pace you know do what you can and uh, yeah just remember to have your fun. I will try to be around whenever I can. Like this, this is not me saying goodbye or anything like that. Uh, it's just me saying that I will try to do more of these things whenever I can. Just drop by, talk to you guys for a little bit, say a few things. My next training that I'm going to try to do is going to try to be a little bit more basic skill sort of stuff because I think we. It's been a while since we've done one of those. Uh, but yeah, I'll catch you guys up whenever I have the chance. I'm not answering a lot you know, on the Discord. I'm on Loa because I'm not having as much time. Uh, but hopefully you guys got the gist of it here. Uh, I would like to hear a little bit from you guys, if anyone has anything to say in here before we wrap it up. Uh, how long till the ops? How are we looking on time here? 10 minutes. We're running pretty close. Yeah. But if anyone has anything else to ask me personally or anything else to add, go ahead and we're just going to wrap it up here. I know it was a pretty boring conversation, you know, but it's still something I wanted to tell you guys. And hopefully you guys, you know, don't think it's just a bunch of crap. <laughs> yeah, any questions or anyone has anything to, to ask or to add? Oh, yeah, good point. Uh, just one final thing, guys. Uh, I'm not sure if it's, you know, directly relevant to anyone in here specifically. But this is something important as well for you guys to remind other people 
uh, or even yourselves as well. By being such a social game, a game that has to do with, you know, chain of command, you are leading people into battle in a literal sense, you know, it's, it's literally a battle. You are talking to people and trying to get them, you know, to do something that is counterproductive at times. Uh, and just because of the communication skills necessary at times, this can be just overall a, a burden on your confidence. You know, not everyone has the same level of communication skills. Not everyone can come into the game and talk to everybody with the same level of confidence. And leading in Planetside takes a lot of confidence. You know, this is something that all of us struggled at one point or another, uh, unless you were already like a complete extrovert and you had no care for that at all. But what I can tell you guys is that the practice here is something that not only will improve your in-game skills by doing it more and more, but it has a direct impact on real life. It is crazy what leading in this game and becoming better at leading your platoons will do to your real life personality. You become a different person. If you lead enough in this game, if you get enough confidence to the point where you become a good platoon leader in here, you will improve your actual skills. Like these are actual real life skills, communication skills, confidence skills, things that you take to real life and that you're testing in a completely safe environment here in SKL. You know, so go out of your way. Take your time. You don't need to worry about confidence. We are new player friendly. You know, if you are having a hard time with this sort of stuff in here, don't worry, you know, it's natural for everybody. People come in and out with different you know, levels of confidence that they bring to the table. And the more you do it, you know, the better you get at it. And a, another good point is, you know, the way you approach it. You know, if, if you approach it without worry on a more, like a more chill state of mind, you know, no, now I'm just going to run a chill platoon. You know, we're going to try to play for the alert, but I'm not going to care as much. Make that clear for your platoon whenever you're doing that. And it just gives you a better environment to work with where you don't need to sweat as much. You know, you can take your time and say, hey, all right, guys, wasn't the best alert. You know, we did our best and that's it, GG's. And call it there. You know, do whatever you can to improve your confidence in here. But don't, don't, you know yourself too much because we understand you know, you're here to learn if you don't have the communication skills you can take your time and it will improve your actual skills that's that to me is just mind-blowing and it's something I realized myself after I learned to lead like how many years ago that was that now in real life I think about god damn bro I'm just this you know confident in doing this because I put you lead in planet side it's a bit of a weird, you know, mind-boggling thing to me, but it's a real story. Like, I had a real impact in my life that came from this game. You know, that's something nice to keep in mind. Now, I guess we're running out of time, but any anyone has anything else to add? Not sure if that was enough, um, Mishu. Uh, that was a pretty good point you brought up in there. Uh, but, yeah, maybe we can have a training focused on only that at a point. That's a pretty good point there. Yes, that was perfect.